What's up guys, this is Nathan from Aztec Gaming and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to host a Terraria server. Now I've been looking all day and all night uh, but I couldn't find a straight answer from anyone. But I finally found a way to do it and it's really easy to do. So, uh, and I'd just like to say before we get started, any players who want to play together, they will need the same version of Terraria. The latest is 1.1.2. Just want to let you guys know that that might stop you from uh, playing together. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so if you're going to be the host of the Terraria server, you're going to need two free programs. That's the dedicated server software at terraria.org and log me in Amachi. Now, all of the parties, the people who you want to play with, uh, are going to need Amachi as well. Only you need this. So, go ahead and download both. Uh, they're both free. Uh, links will be in the description. Once those are downloaded, uh, before we run any of them, don't run them. Uh, you want to go to Control Panel at the Start menu. Uh, system and security. Uh, under Windows Firewall is allow a program through Windows Firewall. Now hit change settings and scroll all the way down to the T's. Uh, I have a few copies of Terraria. Uh, make sure everything beginning with Terraria is ticked including the Terraria server. Uh, I've downloaded it twice so there's two there. And make sure both the boxes are ticked under home slash work private network and public network. Uh, everyone will need to do this who wants to join your um, server so tell them to do it hit OK uh, now that's enough of that go ahead and uh, search Terraria server should look like that hit run ok it will detect uh, worlds that you have in your Terraria game uh, he has three of mine uh, but for now I'm gonna create a new one uh, so I'm gonna hit um, N one because it loads quickly and uh, my world name test with this and uh and now I'm gonna set up a server for that world so hit four I'm um, gonna hit enter for eight my port is gonna be one two three four my password is gonna be one two three four and there we have it. Now that's the server set up. Now onto the Hamachi side of things. Uh, if it's the first time you've used it, uh, you just want to hit. Uh, you want to create a client ID, I believe it's called, and name yourself. Give yourself a username. Uh, go hit the power button. Now I've used this before, so I'm connected to uh, about three networks. But if you're going to create a new one, you want to click network, create a new network, uh, network ID test. Uh, now you need to pick one that hasn't been chosen before so make it unique give it a password create and there it is now get your people who you want to play with to go on log me in Amachi, create an account and join your network this is the network ID they will need to enter it uh, and you, they will need the password and uh, now passwords are not optional you need to have one so make sure to tell them See that? He's in. Uh, he's on my Hamachi network. So, with this still open, just go ahead and minimize it. Minimize that. Uh, you want to open Terraria. Now, you being the host, you need to go to multiplayer, join, choose your character, and see now it's your local server and you are the host. Type in local host. Uh, not capitals, sorry. There we are. Uh, the server port you created in the Terraria server, so 1234. 1234. Hit accept. And I'm in. Now we're going to switch to Dizzy Screen and show you how to join a hosted network. So, see you there. Okay, now on my brother's screen, hit join. Uh, select the character. Uh, now enter the IP address of the network you've just joined which is the host's IP address so go ahead and look that up on log me in Amachi it's really easy to find hit accept enter the relevant port uh, 1234 server found uh, so yeah 1234 hit accept and there we go I'm in uh, so yeah really easy tutorial uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video